A popular state park that's free to get into now may soon begin to charge an entrance fee. Yeah, some state parks do charge, but everybody loves something free, right? Like Silver Sands Beach in Milford, which has a half mile stretch of beach and lots of boardwalks to stroll through the wetlands there. News 8's Jocelyn Mementa is there now with more on why they are considering to start charging admission. Jocelyn. It has been a great beach day. It has just been wonderful to be out here. Now, still there are people, though, coming into Silver Sand State Park, and it is a very popular beach, and for good reason. It doesn't cost you anything to get in here. The waves, the sand, and sun are what families have come to enjoy at Silver Sand State Park in Milford. There's always something to do low tide. The kids crab in the crab pools. They have the sandbar to the ocean. It's free. Not for long if the Connecticut Department of Energy and Environmental Protection gets its way. There's a blueprint to improve the park. It includes public bathrooms, changing areas, and a snack bar. Dennis Shane with DEEP says we believe it will make for a more pleasant beach experience, especially for families. To defray the cost, folks here will have to pay for parking. Shane says we envision a parking fee similar to what we charge at the other Shoreline State Park beaches. I think that's, that's not a bad idea either, you know, get some food around this area, you know, some bathroom facilities, it's not bad. But not everyone agrees. They still have to pay for that too, so <laughs> that's more money on top of the parking, you know. I mean, it's convenient, but um, I think it's good the way it is. Those against the plan say there are two main issues, building over wetlands prone to flooding and beachgoers parking in nearby neighborhoods like Steve Brown. Uh, no, I'll just park in the street somewhere, <laughs> walk. There is a public information meeting Thursday, September 24th at 6.30 at the Milford Town Hall. There is also a public hearing October 1st. That's for the permit to allow DEEP to build here. The goal is to start construction next year. No parking fee until it's completed. Back to you.